Thank you, Nestor. Good morning, everyone. How are, how are you guys doing? What an exciting morning. So happy to be here. Just a few months ago, we were doing the same thing for the um, Oliver School. Welcome once again to the topping off ceremony for the Lehi um, School. This is a milestone that we celebrate with all of our construction. And this is especially exciting because it's a new school for our students and the future of Lawrence. With that said, I want to welcome all of you guys here today. Um, welcome to um, Acting Commissioner Russell for being here. Welcome um, to the mayor, to, to the mayor of the city of Lawrence, Brian Abcapena. Welcome to the state delegation, Frank Moran, Estela Reyes, Francisco Paulino, our Senator, Pavel Pagliano, our city councilors, Councilor Del Rosario, Councilor Selena Reyes, Councilor Mark Lafan, um, President of the city council, Giovanni Rodriguez. I wanna welcome our LAE chair, Pam Mariano, also school committee, school committee member, Jonathan Guzman, and everyone that is here today, our Superintendent Rodriguez, and the members of the uh, Department of Elementary and Secondary Education, um, and then the construction team, our school building committee, our teachers, our principals, our students. Students, welcome. Our CEO for the um, MSBA, Jim McDonald, is also joining us um, today. As you know, this is a project that is also funded by the state. Um, with that said, I want to welcome our superintendent, um, Juan Rodriguez, with welcoming remarks. Good morning. Thanks, Adonis. Uh, it's another great day in the city of Lawrence, and especially a great day for all the students here who will be attending the Leahy School in the not-too-distant future. Uh, thank you all for coming out today to celebrate the teamwork that has transformed the Leahy Project site from the last time we were here about nine months ago during May of last year for the groundbreaking. And we said we were grateful last year uh, at that event, and we're even more grateful now as we see the amazing progress that's going on. Again, thank you very much for, uh, to the MSBA, to the mayor, our city councilors, our state reps, and our state senator who have supported this project all along the way with the necessary funding. We want to say thanks to Atlantic Construction, to the Mount Vernon Architect Group, to j, &J Construction, and of course to all the workers here on site getting the hard work done right for all of our kids. Having a skilled workforce capable of building a new facility like the Leahy is critical to our future. So we also wanted to say thank you to our colleagues and friends at Gray Lawrence Tech, at Whittier Tech, and at Essex North Shore who are educating young folks right now so that they have the carpentry, electrical, plumbing, engineering, metal fab, and, mas and masonry skills to be able to get a job like this done at a site like this. Investment in career and tech ed is critical to the future of the city of Lawrence, the Merrimack Valley, and the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. So we th say thanks to all the folks working hard at the tech schools to educate our next generation of, of workers. At this point, I wanted to introduce the mayor of the city of Lawrence, Brian DePena, for his opening remarks. Good morning, everyone. Everybody's super excited today. A little bit kindly. Uh, yesterday, I keep the whole day in Holy Family. And my daughter told me, listen, take two days, relax. I don't want to see in the street in New York, and I tell my wife, impossible. I take it one hour, but I suppose stay tomorrow and the better events in the community celebrate tomorrow. And I promise, when I finish, I go, I, I go back to my home, but it's impossible for me, to, you know, I lose in the moments. I want to say thank you uh, the state delegation because uh, impossible a uh, couple of years ago when everybody said city of Florida needs better facility for students especially at Legion School I remember two years ago when the challenge 
for new school. Everybody said, impossible construction new school, legacy school is a city. The city council and mayor don't increase the taxes over 2.25. Today, state of Massachusetts, city of Lauren, started last year the new facility and don't increase the taxes for the last two years. That's happened for many things, for many reasons. But the more important reason is when everybody work together in the right direction. Welcome to the city of Lauren again and God bless the city and God bless especially the student and teacher. Welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mayor. Gracias, Senor Alcalde. I also want to welcome um, Kim Barry, the um, union president for the Lawrence Teachers Union. Thank you for being here. And Councilor Ana Levy, thank you for being here, Councilor. Um, next, we would like to ask Patricia Mariano to join us to say a few words. What a thrill it is for me to be here as we top off the new Leahy with its final beam. For me, the excitement of this day is like Christmas morning. To help you understand this analogy, please close your eyes. Just humor me. Please close your eyes and go back to the most memorable childhood Christmas and imagine that special gift you wanted from Santa. Now feel the excitement in your heart as you wake up Christmas morning and lo and behold, there it is. Well, Merry Christmas. Seeing this building standing is like Christmas morning for me. When I think about our journey to get to this point in the construction, I remember a ballot referendum that failed by slightly over 200 votes. I remember how close we came to losing the MSBA partnership in the project. Through it all, the Leahy School had support from many families, community members, and elected officials. We wanted this project completed for the children who attended the school in an outdated, tired building, a leaky roof, and lacking many of the amenities of the new school, newer schools across the district. Mayor Brian DePena, through his wisdom, recognized the need for this school and chose to earmark ARPA funds to match the MSBA commitment to the project. And here we are today, celebrating the first milestone in the construction of the Leahy School. There are so many other people that need to be recognized and thanked for the support of this project. First and foremost, Mayor DePena and members of the Lawrence City Council, our state delegation who always will find dollars to make our city prosper. Thank you to the Massachusetts School Building Authority for recognizing the need for new schools in our city and supporting both the Leahy and the Oliver schools. To the Lawrence School Department, Ordonis Hernandez and her team, the Leahy Building Committee, all for working on seeing the construction through to the day the students enter this new beautiful building. Finally, thank you to Atlantic Construction Man and Management, the Mount Vernon Group, and JJ Construction for taking our dreams and hopes for our students and making those dreams a reality. Yes, my Christmas wish has come true. I can envision a state-of-the-art school with many classrooms, a media center, art and music rooms, 
a gymnasium, and a cafeteria, just to name a few. A building filled with children's voices eager to learn, with a team of talented teachers and supportive families to partner in the education of their children. For the Leahy retirees, I know you're going to remember this. Every day after morning announcements, I would say to the children, make it a great day or not, the choice is yours. My message today is, make it a great Leahy school for our children, the choice is ours. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you, Pat. If um, now let's welcome Jim Jim McDonald from the MSBA to also say a few words. Good morning. Good morning. Well, clearly the sun is shining today in Lawrence in more ways than one. On behalf of Treasurer Goldberg, Mary Pacchetti, and Maria Popolo, who's here from the MSBA, congratulations on this terrific milestone, which is the topping off ceremony, dates way back to Scandinavian times when they wanted to say thank you to the gods for cutting down their trees so they would take the lot they would take it the last beam, put an evergreen on it, and raise it up as a way to, to say thank you. And so today is a celebration for the craftspeople, for the local seven iron workers that, that do an amazing job of, of erecting, erecting the steel. And also, you know, it doesn't happen overnight. And as the mayor said, you know, a few minutes ago, it's really about the vision of the city of Lawrence and the leadership of the mayor and the city delegation, not only locally within the council, but also the amazing state delegation that is always looking out for the city, but more importantly, it is looking out for the children. Because the children are the future of every community. And by giving the kids brand new schools, state-of-the-art facilities so they can live and learn and prosper, is, is really a testament to the commitment that the city of Lawrence has to their future. So, Mayor, congratulations to you, first of all, for your vision and the work of the council. And I think they all, in the, the state delegation, they all deserve a round of applause. I also want to, to make note of welcoming uh, Dr. Johnson, the acting uh, commissioner of DETSI. DETSI, you know, really has the, the tough job of, of working with communities, but, you know, they, they, they really they really back up their words with, with actions to make sure that our kids throughout the Commonwealth get the best that they possibly can. And you know, when I was here for the topping off of, of the other school, it didn't seem like it was that long ago, but it was a lot colder than it is today. You know, I shared a story about uh, my son who's a school teacher. And, and one of his first assignments, uh, and I'm from Dedham, uh, was uh, he he applied for a job to, to teach in the, in the city of Lawrence. And I remember asking him, you know, why, why, do you want, why do you want to go to Lawrence? And he said, you know, Dad, it's, a, you know, it's an urban community. You know, I grew up in, you know, in, in Dedham, and, uh, you know, I, I just want to, you know, I, I, I just want to try it. So he taught up Lawrence High School for quite a few years. Uh, he also coached the, uh, the girls' soccer team. Uh, which was an amazing thing for me as a, as a parent to watch him coach uh, and, and attend. So I got to see the kids. I got to see the commitment of the teachers. And I got to see the commitment of, of the community to, to their students. And, you know, and he always tells me right now he's, he, he moved to Connecticut and he's teaching down at a, at a Catholic high school. But I was just with him down in Washington, D.C. Uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and he said, he said, you know, Dad, you know, Lawrence was, was really that, that special place because I told him I was coming back up here. He said, you know, you know, I learned a lot. You know, I learned about of how, to, how to work with the community, how to work with kids. So on, on behalf of my son, he also said, just make sure you tell Juan congratulations. And where is he? Uh, the interim superintendent who was part of, uh, part of, his, uh, part of his, 
hiring of my son way back when. So I guess you have you have good taste, uh, and, and thank you. So I'll just close by saying, I can't wait to come back here June in 25 when you have the, the ribbon counting and welcome your students to an amazing facility. Congratulations, best of luck, thank you. Thank you, Jim. And now we welcome Sophia. She's here from the Office of Congresswoman um, Lori Trahan. Welcome, Sophia. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Sophia Gross, and I'm here on behalf of Congresswoman Lori Trahan. Thank you so much for having me. It's so exciting to join you all here for this milestone in the new Lakey Schools construction. It feels like just yesterday we were all gathered here to watch the steel beam go up at the new Oliver School, and now we get to do it again for the new Lakey School. It shows how committed the city of Lawrence is to education. When we invest in education, benefits can be seen across the board. A comprehensive education leads to increased graduation rates and employment rates after school, which will not just benefit the students themselves, but their families, both currently and in the years to come. And Congresswoman Trahan is thrilled to know that her vote to pass the American Rescue Plan Act direct, directly contributed to this improvement. Thanks to a fantastic partnership with the City of Lawrence, $43.4 million were allocated from ARPA funds to get this school up and running. Knowing that those federal dollars will help Lawrence students receive the high quality education they deserve, we couldn't ask for a better investment. Of course, we owe a special thank you to Mayor DePena and the Lawrence City Council and his administration <laughs> for always. <laughs> for always being willing to work together thank you, to make sure that when federal investments like this are available, they come straight to the city of Lawrence and are put to great use. Thanks to our partners in the state delegation as well, Senator Payano and Representatives Moran, Reyes, and Paulino. And thank you to our amazing partners at the Lawrence Public Schools, Superintendent Juan Rodriguez, Maria Cruz, Adonis Hernandez, and the, the school committee. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. I know I share Congresswoman. Sorry, <laughs> I know I share Congresswoman Trahan's excitement for the next steps that this building will go through to fully transform into the student-ready New Lady School. Thank you again for allowing me to say a few words on the Congresswoman's behalf, and congratulations. Uh, I'd like to welcome up Representative Moran. Bueno, buenos dias. Good morning. I'm very excited to be with you all today for the top it up ceremony here at the Leahy School. And in the same vein, to be celebrating the significant progress of Lawrence Public School over the past few years. Estoy muy emocionado de estar con ustedes hoy en la ceremonia de finalización de la Escuela Leahy in the mismo sentido, celebrar el progreso significativo de las escuelas públicas de Lawrence en los últimos años. I want to start off by thanking Mayor De Peña and his office for taking the initiative to fund this project, which is sure to change the lives of countless kids and their families here in the city of Lawrence. Thank you also to Interim Superintendent Juan Rodriguez and his staff, as well as the MSBA for its support, Jim. Maria's in the back for its support. Finally, I want to thank the Lawrence City Council for approving this project and recognizing the positive impact it will have on our city. Days like today not only help me to appreciate the importance of public education, but also the amount of time and the energy it takes to educate our kids every single day. From those of you who built the campus itself to the teachers leading the classes and mentoring students. A school is only as strong as the adults who make space for children to learn and grow in their homes. Desde aquellos de ustedes que construyeron el campus, hasta los maestros que dirigen las clases y asesoran a los estudiantes. Una escuela es tan fuerte como los adultos que crean espacio para que los niños aprendan y crezcan in sus pasillos. 
a good Massachusetts public school education got me to where I am today. It has likely shaped the lives of nearly every single one of you here. The skills I learned in and outside of the classroom helped me find my passion in life. I know that kids about to enter the new school back here will, be, will do the same. I'm excited for the Francis M. Leahy School. You have built a solid foundation for your students to transform into kind and successful adults. Estoy emocionado por el futuro de la escuela Francis M. Leahy. Han construido una base sólida para que sus alumnos se transformen en adultos amables y exitosos. Muchas gracias. Thank you everyone that were involved, the union, the school committee as well. This is a great day for the city of Lawrence today. Six months over a year ago, we did the same thing in my alma mater, the Oliver School, and I can't wait to see those schools open up. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much, State Representative Frank Moran. At this moment, I would also would like to acknowledge the presence of Acting Chief of Staff in the Mayor's Office, Mr. Santiago Matias. Thank you so much for being here today as well. Para mí es un gran honor en este momento, and please allow me to say this in Spanish. Thank you. Intro, eh, presentarles en esta introducción a una mujer que se ha dedicado a pelear desde muchos años por esta ciudad, a buscar fondos, a hacer una política digna, y por supuesto, a estar mano a mano cada día con los jóvenes y la comunidad. For me, it's a great honor to introduce at this moment State Representative Estela Reyes. Thank you. Thank you very much. With that introduction, I don't think I, I, I can say much. Good morning, everyone. It is an honor and a great pleasure to be here with all of you. I love the idea of coming together to celebrate the milestone of making, marking the very top part of the brand new building by what has come known as Topping Out Ceremony Lehi School. It is a great privilege to me as the former city council of this district for the past 12 years to speak and lead this, this symbolic task of finishing the roof of a trowel of concrete. Getting to this stage, it has not been easy and has involved the hard work and support of many of you. The Chief Operating Office has spent several, several years bringing to reality the concept of creating a state-of-the-art new school. Today's ceremony represents a major milestone for the committee who has been involved for the present and future of Lehi School students. I will therefore like to take this opportunity to thank our Mayor Brian De Peña, who has been a great supporter of this project. Our leader Frank Moran, who fought until this day. Our Senator Parel Payano, my colleague, Rep. Francisco Paulino, and my former brothers and sister in office, all the city councilors. Last but not least, the Chief Operating Office, Godani Hernandez, for all of her past and present foresight, wisdom, and throughout this process. We are excited about the future of our new school and we we'll look for to show it to you with price when it has been completed. It is a Memorial Day, and I am very excited to be here with all of you. Thank you. Thank you, um, Estela, for your nice words. Next, we would like to introduce um, State Rep. Paulino to also say a few words and also welcome um, Chief of Police Castro, who also joined us this morning. Buenos dias. 
Come on. Well, I'm impressed. Especially um, seeing all the city councilors here. I, they just have a meeting that ended minutes ago. And they, I really appreciate we see you. Uh, especially Marlo Plan. And this is a great event. And this school uh, uh, is responsible for the special bond between me and Pat Mariano, the love we share for this place. And my kid went to this school. And I remember the summer of 2011, when Juana, well, please say thank you to Juana, one of the best staff we have here. I was teaching math during summer school, and we had no AC, the temperature was like 80 degrees. And Juana told me, Francisco, we need water. And I say, okay, let's get water. It she mean that we had to go out and buy bottles of water for the kids, and we did it, and we had fun. Then we talk like 20 kids to Dawson, and one I was ready, she bought a, tri a cup of triple bread and ham, and um, we make all those kids happy. And then I did the same thing when I went to college. Every time I go to school, I bring a triple bread with salami, and everybody was happy, because a kid can't learn if they're hungry. And we were try trying to teach those kids the value of education. As the son of a lady that teaches for more than 30 years, I know a good teacher can teach good, even under a coconut tree. Because what they did in this school without AC, all facility, with the cafeteria, you cannot feed more than one class. It's amazing. I just can't wait to see what can you do now with this state of the art facility. The something I want to share with you is, uh, Ruby Poro is around here. She is the, ho the wife of one of the state rep, me. 2020, we bought a house in the tour. Brand new house, was built four years before we, we bought it. And we didn't move to that house for a year. And we didn't have parking on Garden Street. And I remember Brian, I talked to my house one day. One day. We didn't move because we didn't want to take our kids out of these schools, out of this place, Miss Ringas, we have Ms. Gonzalez, the wife of Manny Gonzalez, make this old school in an old building so special. And I think the, the future of the education of Lawrence is brighter every day. And this investment is necessary. And somebody from the, East, the Massachusetts Builder Association say, the kids are the future, you run. Children are the present. And we need to give them all the tools they need to be successful. And thank you all of you for being here, and I can't wait to see the, the food in the ribbon and giving our kids the state of the art facility that they deserve. Thank you. And now we, not, we have the Senator Payano that we church on Tuss Reed. Buenos dias, everyone. Oof, I, I am uh, extremely, extremely happy to be here. Uh, you know, one of the key important things about today is that this almost didn't happen. Uh, I remember that uh, a week wouldn't go by that I didn't have a conversation with school committee woman, um, LAE board member, uh, Patricia Mariano, and the question was, Pavel, is uh, the vote gonna pass? What are we doing to make sure the vote would pass? It did not. However, I am extremely grateful uh, to you, uh, Mayor Brian De Pena, because I know throughout the campaign, this was a topic of conversation almost every time that we talked, and you made a promise to me, you made a promise to the city that you would figure out a way to make it happen, and thanks to the funds that we got from ARPA, thanks to my former colleagues in the city council, we were able to allocate those funds, and uh, I am grateful uh, for that. Uh, because uh, living in America, one of the things that saddened me the most is hearing from some of our young people saying that they had to uh, go to school in a building where the ceiling was falling down. So for those of us that care deeply about education, for those of us that care deeply about the city, having that happen in one of our buildings sort of put us off because we want to make sure that our kids have the same opportunities as, as the kids living uh, in, uh, somebody mentioned Dedham, you know, as the kids living in, you know, any area uh, in, in Massachusetts. And for that, they have, to be, they have to be going to school 
in, in buildings that are modern, in buildings that are work, and that's what we're building here today. I, I would also like to thank um, uh, my colleagues at the State House. So about a year ago, I got a call from Mayor Brian De Pena, and he starts saying, Pavel, uh, Senator, you know that because of COVID, costs have gone up. They have gone up for, for steel. They have gone up for material. They have gone up for wages. And to, in order to build the Leahy and the Oliver School, we need more than $15 million. And I'm like, oh, wow, uh, uh, Mr. Mayor, you, you have a tough job ahead of you. And he's like, yes, but so do you, because we need you to find that money. I, I will tell you, that was an afternoon really filled with anxiety, because I'm like, all right, I, I, uh, how do we find uh, over $15 million to make sure these schools uh, will be built. But I am very grateful for uh, my um, the Senate President Spilka, Chairman of Ways and Means, Michael Rodericks, because they understood the need that's happening not just here in Lawrence, but across the Commonwealth, and we were able to allocate funds for that. And thanks to my colleagues uh, in the House, we, we made that happen. And because of that, it's one of the other reasons why this school and the Oliver are being built. And one of the things that I do as I sit down and I listen to everyone that came, uh, uh, came to speak here today was how we were able to make this happen because of partnerships. Living right now in, in our nation that, you know, sometimes it feels broken, sometimes it feels like it isn't working. It is great to see everyone come together and figure out how do we make sure that our kids, these kids that are sitting here uh, with us today, are able to access a great education. So I want to thank all of the policymakers, I know uh, usually people come to us when things aren't going right, but I want to thank you all for being part of something, being part of something going right, and uh, I, I look forward to other projects to come, uh, and maybe in a couple of years we're, we're able to build some other, some other schools as well. Thank you and God bless. Thank you, Senator. And now we would like to invite um, Council President Giovanni Rodriguez to say a few words on behalf of the City Council. Good morning. Good morning. Wow. This is very exciting. On behalf of the Lawrence City Council, uh, I'm very honored to, uh, to be here and actually uh, speak on behalf of this project. Um, Every time we have a challenge in front of us, we need to develop an opportunity. And that message is for you, the students. Because back then, uh, two years ago, this school behind us changed the entire community. This question behind the school and how the school was going to be built and the override question make people think differently about that election at that point. And it changed the entire community as of how it was at that point. Since then, we were able to accomplish the project, get the project up and going with the ARPA fund, with the help of the ARPA fund, that we're able to transfer that fund to, be, to become a free cash and a less restriction from the federal government, and also, more importantly, the decision of the allocation of the funds required for, for this project through the mayor's office and the mayor of the Pena. It was a promise they made during the campaign that he was going to find a way. He did find a way, and I appreciate that big time. But also, the work, the, the, the work of the Lawrence City Council at that point was to the extreme and to the point of getting this project up and running. So this project back here have changed so much the, com the entire community that since then we have a new mayor, we have two new state reps, we have five new city councilors, we have one new senator, we have multiple school committee members that are new since this project start, and we also have LAE board members that are also new as a result of the conversation that we have back then two years ago 
when it comes to the building of this school. So on behalf of the Lawrence City Councilor, thank you again. Thank you for allowing us to be part of the process. And uh, I'm very excited to continue with, with, uh, uh, with the next part of the ceremony. Thank you. Thank you, Giovanni. And that concludes the speaking opportunity um, of this ceremony. With that said, I just want to, again, thank everyone for being here. Thank you for everyone that has made this um, possible. For the staff that works tirelessly to ensure that the bills are being paid, um, that the meetings, the construction meetings um, happen every day, the collaboration of the DPW under the direction of um, Director Jorge Jaime. Thank you. Um, for the collaboration of the Lawrence Police Department, ensuring that during all of the wraparound meetings that our voices are heard, that the voices of the, the team is heard, for the work that you see here today, for allowing us to host this ceremony um, on Urban Ave. Thank you for that collaboration. Our teachers that are here, past and present, to the students, as I said earlier. And we couldn't have done this, we couldn't be here today, and we couldn't have not been at the Oliver back in December. Without the, without the work um, of someone that really had a lot of foresight during her time in Lawrence Public Schools. I want to thank and I want you all to help me thank Anne-Marie Stronach, who, was, who started, who was the original um, person that worked tirelessly to um, support and bring this forward to the MSBA with the City of Lawrence. Um, and the Lawrence Public Schools during her time with us. So thank you to everyone. And now if you all can just join us, uh, we're gonna go over here to the corner of Bruce and Irvin for our photo opportunity. Thank you for being here. And at the end, then we'll head over to the end of the street here for the signing of the beam.